Well, this was unexpected. We sailed right into a thunderstorm. Uh, the wind is up to 34 knots sustained right now. We're reefed down pretty heavily. Uh, and we're still 50 miles outside of Aruba. So here's hoping it subsides fast. First mate's down below getting his beauty sleep, of course. Urgent business down there. Well, this is pretty dire. Uh, it's now 20 past three in the morning and I've been in this storm for three hours. There's no sign of anything shifting. Uh, if anything, it might be getting a bit worse. The sea state certainly is getting worse. Um, it's a real struggle to make any progress. If you remember that most of this passage is to windward and uh, I'm loath to turn around and give up any of those miles, but if it gets any worse, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. Um, I got the engine fired up, uh, sails heavily reefed. We're just about managing to sail into it. Uh, and we're averaging about three knots, but I've been looking at this island on the chart and it's hardly moved in the last three hours. So hardly making any progress. Um, the winds are 27 apparent, gusting to over 30. And uh, the rain is just started. Uh, it's pretty heavy. We're taking quite a bit of spray into the cockpit as well. And there was me thinking this was gonna be an easy four day. Uh, but no, we got our dose of karma uh, just on the way into Aruba. We're still about 50 miles out. Uh, that's not really decreasing any, uh, but hopefully this storm is gonna subside pretty soon and uh, we can get in and get some rest because I tell you, this is exhausting. I've been adjusting sails constantly. I've been chatting to the others, our buddy boats on the radio uh, to warn them of what's coming. And other than that, just trying to stay warm and dry. Oh, really, really nasty. It's conditions like this, they remind you uh, just not to take anything for granted when you're sailing. Things can turn just like that. And today they did. Wow, what an end to the passage. We still have 35 miles to go and all hell broke loose. It is terrible. We have 25 knots of wind on the nose and we have 2.2 knot of current against us. So actually, if we turn where we wanna go, our speed over ground is one knot. So we are now kind of going off course because this is the only direction we can actually achieve three knots of speed. So uh, we were hoping for a midday arrival. That is now totally out of question. We'd be lucky to get there before sunset. Uh, diesel situation, we should be okay, but we really need this wind to stop because uh, we need to start making headway towards the island. Um, didn't really expect this. There was a freak storm overnight and it just screwed up everything. So here's the good luck for the rest of the day. What a night, that was just unbelievable. What an end to a perfect passage otherwise. I think that was the price we paid for getting a calm window around Cabo de la Vela. Uh, and this is anything but a calm window. I was reading the uh, weather forecast after the fact, of course, and uh, it turns out a trough opened, whatever that is, in front of us and passed to the east overnight. So. We got within a stone's throw of the Ruba, uh, our destination, only to be 
quartered at the last hurdle and uh, the whole night we're going about one, two and a half knots maximum, sometimes in the right direction. The seas, as you can see, are just super whipped up and furious. Uh, the wind has only just started to calm down right now. And on top of all of that, there is a two uh, and even two and a half knot current across this bay. So even without all the wind and the sea state, it's really, really difficult. Uh, we're now on the wrong side of the bay uh, to get over to Aruba and uh, the port that we need to check in at. So everything's conspiring against us. The captain is sodden and miserable and salty everywhere. What's the saying? A prudent captain keeps his ship upwind of his destination. Where are we? Downwind. He's lucky the ship is the right way up after the night that we had. Yeah, so I think all things considered, we'd be lucky to get in before sunset. Um, we're just going to carry on plodding along. Uh, the wind is still pretty strong, over 22 knots. Uh, and wait for it to calm down a little, and then we're going to make a bolt for it across the bay. That's the captain's new plan. Wow, what an end. What an end to the passage. 29 miles to go. We are doing three knots. Slightly, of course, but at least we are moving. This is no fun. I was saying to Tom, this reminds me of only two occasions in our sailing experience in the five years. One, California, when we stupidly set off into a storm. And second, the Papagayos. It's quite exhausting. I'm so glad I'm not seasick that I found my sea legs, otherwise this would be miserable. The Royal Caribbean cruise is actually quite miserable. When I was sleeping, I was levitating most of the time. Not good. Yeah, it's times like these we're reminded that we're going the wrong way around the Caribbean. And when the weather doesn't cooperate, which it has been the previous three days, you really feel it. It's been a good window, it really has, but that storm has screwed it all up unexpectedly. So, uh, but 29.2 miles to go. I, I believe we will make it today. It's only 9.30 a.m. So touch wood, unless something goes wrong. It's now two o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. We are still not there. We have 13 miles to go and our progress is still only at three knots. Uh, the carrot is something else here. We did not think it's going to be this strong. So we're going to be delayed by about six or seven hours. Hopefully we can arrive in the harbor by about 6 p.m. So just about the daylight. I hope they are not going to force us to check in tonight and just say to us, let's do it tomorrow morning. So yeah, another four hour-ish and we should be there. Nine miles to go, nine miles to go. Well, the captain managed to get a little bit of rest and the first mate took his most of the way in. Uh, the conditions have improved a lot since the captain went to bed. So mental note, if ever the conditions need to improve fast, just go to bed. They often do. This has been, in all seriousness, the worst, most frustrating final approach of any passage we've ever done. Uh, especially considering the previous three days went just swimmingly. Uh, they were fine. Today has been awful. And we're managing the dizzy heights of 3.8 knots. Uh, an absolute full whack for the engine. And we just need to get there. We're still, we're not going to get there for another three hours. Uh, if that gives you any clue as to the crew's state of mind and tiredness right now, then, oh, it should. It's awful. But anyway, on to brighter things. The sea state has improved. We're in the lee of the island already. So now we're only getting pummeled 
from one direction rather than both sides of the island. Um, and our friends on Salachia on a much faster boat have already checked in and reassured us that the process went uh, really smoothly. They were very friendly. No one asked about yellow fever. Perfect. So uh, we just need to get there now. Uh, there's an open question over whether they will receive us today because it's a weekend, it's a Saturday and uh, we're going to arrive outside of uh, office hours, let's say. So actually, hopefully we're just going to uh, put the queue flag up and they'll allow us to go to sleep, get some good rest and check it in the morning. Uh, but either way, we're, we're ready for what happens from now. Peter was saying to me earlier, he's so, so glad that this is our last major passage of the season. Otherwise, I think we'd be about ready to call it quits. No cameras. No comment. It's unusually quiet today. Anything to say yet? I'm done. Oh, you might be. Land, the glorious land. I've never stared at an island so long and watch it not get any closer. Feels like a whole day. But now we're a mile out and we're arriving at what looks like an unattractive industrial harbour, uh, which is where we have to check in. Uh, we're just getting our stuff together, making ourselves presentable, you know, after the long passage, and I'm going to call the Coast Guard soon for permission to enter. It's not the paradise I've been promised, is it? I've been through hell for 40, no, how long? I've been through hell for four days. <laughs> if I don't see palm trees, coconuts, and rice and beaches, I'm going to flip. <laughs> All I see is cranes and shipyard. Aruba Port Authority, Aruba Port Authority, Aruba Port Authority. This is sailing vessel Bohemia, Bohemia on channel 16. Do you copy? Bohemia, Aruba. Hey, uh, good afternoon. Uh, we are a 36 foot sailing vessel. Uh, we have just uh, sailed and arrived from Cartagena and we are requesting permission to enter the harbour and complete our check in at Bacadero, please. Well, that was straightforward. Proceed. There we go. Get the bow the stern as soon as you can. Lovely. Okay, and then the stern now. There you go, welcome to Aruba. It's never felt so good to arrive anywhere as here. And look at it, it's not that pretty. I'm sure it's gonna get nicer. All done, very friendly, slick and efficient. No complaints. One gotcha is that spear guns are illegal here so they had to confiscate ours that the first mate hasn't used in three years. So for all I care, they can keep it. But apparently we can pick it up when we check out. Now time for sleep. Special thanks in this episode go to our latest patron, Javier from our beloved Mexico. Javier, muchas gracias, and here's to you. If you enjoyed this episode, you can now buy the crew a drink directly. Just look for the thanks button below the video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.